very good afternoon here from the iconic Lakeside Stadium here in Melbourne. It's NPLW Round 24 action between South Melbourne and the Geelong Galaxy. I'm your caller, Steve Curtin. I'm looking forward to seeing these two sides show off their talents on this immaculate playing surface this afternoon. South Melbourne in fifth place on the table on 35 points. They do have two games in hand after their game last weekend against the NTC was postponed due to the uh, NTC's rep representative commitments. Uh, Galaxy, they're in uh, eighth place now. They've dropped back to that position. They're on 19 points, but they are just one point behind Bayside. For the home team, we've got uh, Shannon Flower stepping into goal this week after Kelsey Minton, a striker, deputised in goal in their last match, which was against Bulleen. Across the defence for South Melbourne, Sophie Papazanis, Leah Varley comes into the team. The mainstay in defence, Zoe Haratsis. Paige Pinson comes into the starting 11. In midfield, Cindy Lay and Hayley Richmond will marshal the troops. In front of them, Sophia Sakalis, Kelsey Minton, Sarah Richardson, and playing game number 150 for South Melbourne today is the captain, Natalie Martinu. On the bench for the Galaxy today. Oh, sorry, on the bench for South Melbourne first. Uh, Georgia Candilas, Felicity Georgiopoulos, Catherine Forte-Odo, Sarah Fitzpatrick, and Miriam Ivani. And for the visitors, there's no change to that starting 11 that suffered a 1-0 defeat to second-placed Bulleen last week. That's uh, a team consisting of Emily Kensole in goal. Across the defence, Christy Merry, Meg Shaker, Daryl Aziz, Imogen Pratt. In defensive midfield, Natasha Rieri. In centre midfield, Adeline Ayton, who came closest to scoring last week for the Galaxy. Tomoku Fukumaru. Out wide, Caitlin Pickett and Leon Alhanadi will provide width. Up front, trying to get the goals, will be Kana Oda. On the bench for the Galaxy today, Emanuela Fierro, Julia Budyongo, Nakaya Joseph, Tegan Visser, and Coco, Coco Cummins, who scored in this fixture at Geelong earlier in the season. Match referee today, Alexander Lever, has got us underway. It's the Galaxy in their chain strip of all grey, playing from the left to the right. Sorry, from the right to the left of your screen. Here's Rieri for the Galaxy. She can play it out there to Pratt. Got a uh, single active supporter here today, which should, should provide some atmosphere to this call. That was Sophie Paffet Zionist clearing that ball away. She looks to be lining up at right back today. Can play at either left or right fullback. Can Sophie Paffet Zanis. Is Fukumaru getting in touch with the Galaxy to Oda? Al Hanadi. Here's Oda again. Rieri. Here's Pratt, plays it up in the air. Here's Martinu, the skipper for South. Our opposite number 10 wins the ball though and plays it forward, looking for Oda. Still she goes, Kana Oda, looking for support now. Plays it looking for Pickett at the back post. It's well cut out though. Here's Pickett again contesting for the ball. It's been a bright start for the Galaxy. They've uh, built some confidence last week with that uh, only a narrow defeat to Bulleen. A team that had beaten them by eight goals earlier in the season. And reports are on the training ground this week that Samuel's young Samuel Young's team are high on confidence. Here's Pickett with the throw. This is Adeline Ayton, came into the starting 11 and performed very well last week for the Galaxy. We can play a 1-2, but can't get it back from Fukumaru. And South can come forward. Here's Richardson. 
This is Sakalis. She's lost out. Al Hanadi for the Galaxy now on the right. What can she conjure up? Looks to go around her opponent. Comes into the area, plays a low ball in. And it's bouncing around in the six-yard box. It's cleared by Papasanis. And here's a chance for Fukumaru. It's over the bar. She maybe had more time than she realised there. Blazing that one over. And certainly a very bright start for the Galaxy girls here at South Melbourne today. Just recapping again, our match officials today. In the man in the middle is Alexander Lieber. His assistants, Dion St. Laurent, Sebastian Sterrell. The fourth official is Nicholas Tubby. And South can now enjoy some possession. Fukumaru wins the ball back. Here's Oda. It's a first time pass for Al Hanadi. She's playing on the right hand side at the moment, often plays on the left. Here's Pickett for Aiton. So well won back though there. And here's Sakalis for Richardson, looking for the one two, but it's well read by Rieri. Aiton's touch lets her down. This is Cindy Lay showing her technique and switching the play out to that left-hand side for South. This is Richmond. Richmond and Lay do perform, or form, should I say, a very solid combination in the heart of the defence for South Melbourne. And Vali plays it back to Haratsis, and Haratsis has all the time that she needs to play it out to Papatsanis. Comes into the air. It's cleared by Shaker, but not too convincingly. And ends up going behind for a corner. So South can send some players forward and put some pressure on the Galaxy for the first time in this match. So we are now into the fifth minute. Fantastic digital scoreboard at the lake end of the ground here. It doesn't matter that I forgot my stopwatch today. So in comes the corner for South. It's aimed at the front post. It's bouncing around in there. And in the end, it was a header from, I believe it was Minton, it went out and behind for a goal kick. So he plays it long. This is Varley getting a touch. Pratt blocked by Varley. So Carla switches it to Lay. Lay can come right out this side to Sophie Papatsanis. This is Lay playing a brilliant little ball through the gap there. Varley. Comes into the area. It's onto her left foot. Looks to cross. It's a decent cross that needed a handy bit of glove work there from Emily Kenzo. Just to ensure that that one stayed on the right side of the goal line as far as the Galaxy are concerned. It's a shot there from Richardson from long range. But in the end it goes closer to the hammer throw cage than the goal. Still worth the attempt though. So it gets us back underway. Short pass to Pratt. Up the line looking for Al Hanadi. He locks the ball in and plays it forward. Good stuff from the Galaxy. Such a fantastic surface here, and it's a good place to show off your skills and play the ball around on the floor. That's what we're seeing just at the moment. This is Martinu. Canadian raised attacker for South Melbourne. This is Haratz is sharing the ball with Varley. 
It's cut out by Aiton. Papazanis. And comes back and Odie can break here. She comes onto the end of this ball and gets a first time shot and flies in off the side netting and out. South Melbourne caught napping there. In the end, it was actually Fukumaru getting on the end of that one and blazing it just into the side netting. She could have maybe taken it in closer to the goal, but she saw an opportunity to strike right on stride and took the chance, and it was a decent hit. So certainly a bright start for the Galaxy. Samuel Young will be happy with what he's seen. Michelle Gallo, coach of South Melbourne, just to have one or two question marks that he might want to address at halftime on the way things have gone so far. But early days, yeah, we've just played the eight minutes. And South can bring the ball forward down their left-hand side now. Looking to switch it out this side. In the end, it runs out in front of the Galaxy substitutes. And it will be a throw to South. Papen Sinus to take it. Plays it up to Richardson. It's Minton sharing it with Richardson again. She will look to show those silky skills there. But well defended, though, by her Galaxy opponent, which on that occasion was Shaker. Here's Minton in the area. Looks to get a shot away on the left. Can't quite do it. Here's Oda. Good skills from Oda. She just needs some support now. Not sure what she was trying to do there. Let's just run through to Michelle Gallo, coach of South Melbourne. Nil-nil here, Lakeside. In the 10th minute. This is Pafetsanis. Her pass is cut out by Oda. Oda looks to switch it out to Alhanadi, but they were not on the same wavelength there. Run out onto the back straight of the athletics track. Paige Pinson, she's lining up at left back today, taking the throw. Just goes short to Cindy Lay. Here's Varley. Nice little through ball there to Martinu. Here's the switch for Minton, the first time pass. Sharing it with Richardson. Those two combine very well. Here's Minton again. Good a bit, good bit of defending by Mary though. Got a foot in at the right time. I feel the first goal in this match will be pivotal today to the outcome. Come south, develop play on the right-hand side now. Papazanis. This comes back to Richmond. This is Varley. She does like to step forward out of her defensive position, but she's going to be in trouble here because that's an intentional foul. Alexander Lever was all over that one. Mistake by Varley. She ended up reaching out and dragging back Kana Oda. And that's a yellow card any day of the week. So Varley goes into the book in the 11th minute. And it will be Aziz to take the ball. It's a powerful kick that she is. Plays it up in the air. Varley looks favourite to win the header. Here's Oda, though. Bouncing around around the penalty spot there. Al Hanadi. Away by Heratsis. 18 with the shot. Took it with the instep from distance, and it wasn't far away either. Flower in goal there for South. Had just a moment there of fear before she could see that that one was going to go wide. And Flower will play this one long to this near side now. Minton will look to keep it in, but it has crossed the line. Just remember today, we are live and interactive, whether you're watching us on uh, Facebook. Well, in particular, Facebook, you can comment. Let us know what you're thinking of the game so far. What you think's going to happen as the game progresses. And also let us know where you're tuning in from. Price of whoever's uh, tuning in furthest the field. Here's Deal as is for the Galaxy. She's got some time on the ball. Looks to pick a pass, but it goes straight to Varley. Varley battles with Oda, and Oda wins the throw. Plays it into Fukumaru. 
Good technique from Fukumaru. Here's Rieri now. It's a good interception in the end by Pinson. She will be happy coming into the starting 11 this week for South. Aiton, Rieri. Was Lay getting a foot in? Imogen Pratt taking the long throw down the line. Here's Cindy Lay. Looking to play it up to Richardson. Stripped by Fukumaru, though, as is. And Richardson and Fukumaru tussle again. And Sakalas now, the red boots. She can switch it. It's a good opening here for Papazanis to come forward. She comes steaming forward. Chased by Pickett. Little pass in for Minton. Just to get onto her right foot and get a decent shot on goal. It's well handled, though, by Kensol. She's one of the star keepers of this NPLW Victoria competition. Just rolls it out to Adeline Ayton. Ayton's looking for Pickett. She might find Pickett as well because Harats just threw the foot in and missed the ball. Here comes Pickett into the area. What's she got in terms of support? In the end, it's cut out by the combination of Varley. I think it was Richmond helping out. Now, here's Minton. Minton playing it down the line, looking for her teammate, which was Martinu. Minton with some space here. Looks to pick the pass, but it goes straight to Shaker. Rieri. Still goes Rieri. Oda. Rieri looking for Pickett. Pickett's come into her own in the last few moments. Here she is again. Looking to take on Papazanis. Instead, she just goes back to Fukumaru. Who makes a meal of that pass. And South can win it back through Cindy Lay. Here's Minton coming across the halfway and into attack now. She can take on Mary or just slip it through there for Richardson. Plays it in. Away by Aziz. Good positioning by Aziz. Up the field by Fukumaru. Papazanis back to Haratsis. He goes back to Flower. Fukumaru. Pickett. Very continuous play. One or two players looking like they need a breather already, just about. Paul doesn't want to go out at the moment. Here's Minton. Little pass through there for Richardson. Plays it up and high into the area, and it's a good catch. And it needs to be by Emily Kensol. Aiton looking for Rieri. No one's run too long. This is Sakalas. Here comes Pinson for the south side. Attacking from left back. A little nutmeg there, and still she goes, Pinson. She's in the area. She fires it in. It's well fielded by Kensol again. Emily Kensol has become one of the busy players, but what a good bit of play there by Paige Pinson. Justifying her selection in the starting 11 today. Here's Al Hanadi for the Galaxy. Looks to run into the channel now. She's got Pickett in the middle. She can get it to her, but it's actually Oda who's popped up now. And Oda with a shot that's over the bar. Good chance for the Galaxy. So very end-to-end -end stuff here. These players will be needing a breather or a drinks break probably midway through this first half at this rate. I'm sure Shannon Flower will take her time here with this one so the players can get their breath back. A lot of ball being played around on the floor on this immaculate pitch. And all the spectators here are certainly enjoying seeing that. Here's Fukumaru. Oda looks at turn. Pickett now. It was Richmond who'd won the ball back temporarily. But here's Rieri now. She's got no one running onto that one, though. And that one's just turned over. Back to possession of South. Here's Martinu. She will want to celebrate in style for game number 150 in the blue and white today. Minton. Good bit of defending by Mary. It's gone straight. Back to South again. Here's Lay looking to play it through to Richardson. Shaker's there first. 
Well played by Shaker. She realised she wasn't far from the byline and shielded that one out nicely. Next weekend, uh, Galaxy will enjoy a weekend off with the catch-up round. South will play that game against Heidelberg next Sunday. That was washed out after that cyclonic weather came across northeastern Melbourne that day when that match was originally scheduled. Here's Cindy Lay. Ball out here towards Minton. Good work by Mary to win the ball and play it away to, to uh, safety. Papat Zanis will take the throw. It's getting a bit vocal down on the bench area now. Mary. This is Fukumaru. Looks to try and get past Richmond. In the end, the pass is cut out by Pinson. Good positioning from Pinson. Inside to Richmond. Sakalas looking to play Richardson through. Richardson gets into the area, gets the shot. Side netting. Good play by South. It was very direct and it was very efficient. So this end-to-end -end stuff continues here. Certainly a modest crowd in, but they're all enjoying it. This is a good place to come and watch football. You can sit undercover. Well, the rain has held off so far this afternoon. After it being a bit of a damp morning around Melbourne. Here's a chance come flying in here, and it was a shot by Cindy Lay. It's a good save by Kenzol. A lot of shots from distance, but Galaxy will defend with quite a deep defensive line. It's difficult to get in behind the Galaxy defence for that reason, but certainly opens up a lot of opportunities for shots from around that 20 to 25 yard range. Here's Sakalis. Going to play Martino in. Here's Martino. Tries to play a low ball across, but it's well blocked by Shaker, and South will earn their second corner of the match. You know, the games going on this afternoon. Cold United is playing Heidelberg. That match is being played somewhat concurrently to this one. Well, it kicked off 30 minutes beforehand at 3 p.m. Certainly the 3.30 kickoff here is a unique time slot. It caught a few people off guard. People arriving too early at this match. Pinson. This is Sakalis. To the top of the box towards Richmond. Takes the side put at attempt and it goes wide. Some would say you can never be too early arriving in a football match. Come and soak up the atmosphere and try some of the food from the local canteens of these grounds. I'm told the Suvalakis here are top notch as well. Here's Aiton. Good play by Papatsanis. It's a Cindy Lay. Great turn by Lay. Left two defenders in her wake. Minton. Minton looking get, to get around Mary. Mary held her back though. Into the area and the attempt on the volley was by Sakalis. It was an acrobatic attempt. The connection was not quite what she wanted, but she still was able to direct it towards Emily Kensal's goal. Here's Varley striding forward. Martino. Martino just dropped back into midfield for a moment, almost as if she's playing a false nine role. Aiton plays it forward over the head of Haratsis. And she just uses her knee to knock it back to her keeper. Shannon Flower. So we've had plenty of shots on target and a few in the side netting, but nothing super threatening so far. But certainly some good open football in this match as Fukumaru comes through the middle of Lakeside Stadium, plays the ball to her left to Adeline Ayton. She's nearly slipped over. Plays it out to the right-hand side looking for Alahanadi, but it's well cut out by Pinson, who's having a good game so far. This is Sakalas now. 
in for Martinu. Minton playing it back. Papazanis. Now Haratsis. It's cut out by Fukumaru. This is Christy Mary. Fukumaru won the free kick there. Just on the end of that late tackle. Galaxy can send some players forward and will be taken from just around near the halfway line. Daryl Aziz to get us back underway with the free kick. So still nil-nil here. Played 23 minutes. Here's Richmond. That's one's gone straight to Pratt. Good work by Pratt there. She held off Sarah Richardson quite well. Here's Kana Oda. Good play by Oda. It's Al Hanadi now. Al Hanadi tries the shot on her left. There's a few cheers from under the grandstand here, but that one was easily fielded by Flower. This is Haratsis now. Martinu for Richmond. Hayley Richmond looks to play it out to this side. The overlapping player is Papazanis. Minton playing it in behind, but there's no one there to run onto that one. The most advanced player was Richardson at the time. Headed by Lay. Minton. Martinu. Here's Lay again. What can she conjure up on this right-hand side now? She's got Fukumaru to beat. Fukumaru does well there. Still goes Lay, though. Into the area. Minton gets the strike. It's just ricocheted, bouncing around in the top of the box. And Sakalis with the shot. The hard part there was finding room for the shot. She did that, but then the shot was well wide. Big weekend coming up of cup football next weekend on Sunday. We've got Box Hill versus Calder United in the Nike FC Cup, the uh, premier competition in Victoria. Of a cup format, at least, for women's football. That will be at CB Smith Reserve next Sunday at 5pm. So Richmond goes all the way back to Flower. Papazanis. Looking for Richmond again. Fukumaru wins it back. Looking to play through Oda, but Haratsis did really well there. Good positioning from Haratsis. Now Cindy Lake can play it out to Sakalis, who's out wide on the left. Looks to dribble infield. Ends up standing on the ball though. Rieri, Al Hanadi. Oda. Aiton. Now Rieri can come forward. Looking for Al Hanadi. She's onside. That's one or two arms raised. Now here's Cindy Lay. Martinu. Looking for Sakalis. Can she get it under control? Almost a good first touch, but not quite close enough to her body. As he's come flying through and cleared that one. Kicked it 60 metres up the field. Now, Leah Varley can play the ball forward. She's got a bit of strapping on her right knee. She'll be hoping to get through the 90 minutes today. So coming back into the starting team this week. Here's Martinu coming through the centre of Lakeside Stadium. Finds Minton on the right. She got overlap from Martinu. But Caitlin Pickett's done well there. She tracked back. That will impress her coach. She just tuned in. Still nil-nil. It's been an end-to-end -end game. Chances for both sides.
It's currently the home side, South Melbourne in attack. With the right back, Papadzanis, to get us going with the throw in here. Into the area by Minton. Aziz come through to clear. This is Richmond. Fukumaru now for Galaxy. And Oda needs to switch this one, but goes for a clever back heel. Classy play by Oda. And gets the ball back again. Looking for Al Hanadi, but it's well cut out, though. The referee says play on. There's a ball out wide for Minton in the long sleeves today. Admittedly, a number of her teammates also in long sleeves. Hers are a shade darker than the rest. It's Fukumara looking to play this one for Pickett, but in the end, she's won the free kick. Not a late tackle suffered by her. It's been just the one yellow card already, which was given to Leah Varley. But really, the game has been played in very good spirit by these two talented sides. As is. It's easy for Flower to come and gather. Was able to communicate with Cindy Lay and said, just let that one run for me. Keep his ball. Shaker. Here comes Minton now for South. So Carlos with the back heel this time. Nice little switch out there looking for Pinson. But it might yes, he just keeps it in. Well played by Pinson. Richardson. Now Fukumaru for the Galaxy. And Oda. She's got Pickett in advance. Looking for Pickett now. Pickett can get onto this one. Paffetzanis will try and do the defending here. She does eventually win the ball, but Pickett's just won the ball back straight away. Pickett looks to go around Horatzis. She might have it for pace. Gets a cross in on the left. Blocked by Varley and cleared well. Good cover by Varley there after Horatzis had come out of position from central defence to come and help out Paffetzanis at right back. Now here's Cindy Lay, just dictating the pace of the game as she does so well. Now Richardson can come forward down the right. Still she goes. The two number threes go at it. The other one is Mary. This is Minton to her left foot. Way by Fukumaru. Good ball finding Oda. Oda looking for the free kick, but nothing doing there. Alexander Lever checks that she's okay, but certainly play will just continue. So we have ticked over half an hour now, and you can just feel the air is cooling down a bit too here. So we come into the late afternoon. Zanis, and then the ball runs out. It was Richmond playing it out. Hayley Richmond, one of the players in the orange boots out there today. Sophie Papazanis takes the throw. She got it back off Martino. Here's Adeline Aiton for the Galaxy. Looks to play it down the line. Good play by Papazanis, though. Solid defensively there. Lay. Minton. Good skill from Minton. It's onto her left for Richardson. Galaxy win the ball back. This is Oda now. Got time to center the ball, but it's well read by Richmond. He went for the direct approach, but it ran too long. Defense is winning out at the moment. A game that started quite end-to-end -end fashion. Still goalless. 
Here's Shaker. No pass lets her down though. Martino. Richmond now. Play. Here's Martino with the first time pass, but Rieri's on the end of it. Shaker. Pick it back to Mary. Aiton. He comes south now through Lay. And Vali comes out of the defensive line to receive that ball, but loses out to Oda. Can Galaxy mount a counter-attack now? Good work by Richardson there, tracking back and helping out her defence. Here's Fukumaru. Still goes Fukumaru. Looks to shoot from distance. And forced a uh, almost unconvincing but effective in the end save by Shannon Flower, who went to ground, blocked that one with her body. It was an awkward height for Flower. Decent effort by Fukumaru, but it was down the middle of the goal. The power was very good on the shot, though, because it was from distance. This is Aziz now for the Galaxy, playing it long. Varley with the header. This is Oda. Here's Al Hanadi. Looking to get around Pinson, but Pinson's done well so far. But she's got around on this occasion. And the low ball couldn't find Pickett. It was Flower in that all-red kit coming out to gobble that one up and play it out to Papatsanis. And here's Minton. Martinu. Haratsis. Active support section here for South Melbourne has now doubled into two people. Still good to see. Good to hear some noise. Here's Rieri. Lay wins it back. Well played by Cindy Lay. She can turn and bring it forward. So Carlos is out wide on the left. So Carlos dinks it in towards Richardson. It's a good idea. Richardson was well marshaled though by Shaker and then it was also Emily Kensall coming out to catch the ball. Now we'll have a throw in from Imogen Pratt for Al Hanadi. But there's Lay winning the ball back again. This is Richardson. Looks to get onto a right boot and fire the shot. It's another shot from distance and it's fairly easily held again by Kensall. He's looking for Pickett, but it goes over her head. Papatsanis, who's been very busy in this first half. Not the biggest player out in the park, but one of the most effective. Now here's Varley. Comes across halfway. Plays it out to Paige Pinson. Here's Sakalis. Sakalis tries her luck. And it lands on the roof of the net that time. Here's Minton. Now Richardson. Just bouncing around on the top of the D there. Now Richmond. One back by Oda. Good work by the Galaxy striker. But here's Papatsanis. Richmond with a dink. Good header by Aziz. Rieri. Gets it under control. She's got support from Pratt. And her pass runs straight through to Farley. Here's Papadzanis. The ball just flies up in the air, but she gets it back down again and wins the throw. 
Richmond. Horatzis. Fukumaru now. That pass runs off the field, though. It was a reasonably quick pitch, but not too much, though. But it was on that particular occasion. Papazanis, the one-two with Martinu. Fukumaru, straight through to Vali. Lay. This is Zoe Horatzis. Mary, Rieri. Looking for Al Hanadi. Pinson was alert to the danger and come across the challenge. Galaxy throw. Taken by Pratt looking for Oda. Varley read at best. Thanks for all the comments coming in so far on our Facebook Live. If you haven't heard the score, it is still nil-nil. So we're into the 40th minute now. Hello to Daisy watching again from New Zealand. It says go Galaxy. So thank you to the South Melbourne FC official page for providing their... Starting lineup and substitutes, name and numbers there for anyone who's tuning in. Now here's Richardson on the right hand side. Richardson continues. Minton. This is Sakalis. Looks to shoot. Sakalis, decent effort. Kensol stands strong again in the Galaxy goal. Here's Richmond. This is Martino now playing the switch to Sakalis. Away by Aziz. Now Richmond. Clearance by Shaker that time. And Zoe Horatis for Leah Vali. Keep those comments coming in, please. If you're watching at home. Or perhaps from another game around Victoria. Here comes another shot from distance. It was Minton. And gee, size as that one sailed over the goal down towards the Albert Park Lake. Now here's Varley. Minton, but it runs to Pratt. And Al Hanadi now. Looking for Oda. It's a good pass for Oda. Gets onto the end of it. She's got Haratsis to beat. Plays it low into the area. Here's Pickett. And she scored. Just like that. Galaxy are taking the ball from one end to the other. In the end, it's Caitlin Pickett on the end of that move. She did enough to beat Shannon Flower and give the Galaxy a 1-0 lead as we approach half-time. So you could say a game that needed a goal, and now we have one. Great play from the Galaxy coming down there, right-hand side. Hannah Oda was a key part of that one in the build-up. It 
So the two previous fixtures this season between these two sides have seen South Melbourne win 4-1 and 4-2. So could it be the Galaxy about to exact some revenge for those two losses today? Here's Mary for Aiton. It's one back by Martinu. Martinu in her 150th game will have other ideas about that though. Shake up. Good pressure though. Coming from Minton. And she's going to win the corner here for her troubles. So can South pull one back before the break? To draw level. <laughs> Haley Richmond to take the corner kick. Be the outswinger. It's near the top of the six. It's away by Aiton. Certainly a dangerous corner, that one. But Galaxy survived. Oda for Pratt. And now Rieri. You can see the confidence growing amongst these Galaxy players now. Fukumaru can turn. Switch the ball out towards Pickett. Good play by Richmond. Supported by Martino and Varley now for Richardson. Martino looking to play it through for Richardson. Not successful on that occasion. And she's won the ball back though. Good second effort by her. Here's Cindy Lay. The call is switch it, but she's closed down well by Adeline Ayton. She ends up getting around, around Ayton. And collides with Kana Oda and wins the free kick. So we approach the end of regulation time in the first half. We need a chance for South to send some players forward. And as far as Galaxy are concerned, they will want to hold strong until the halftime interval. So Carlos. It's drilled in. Good header away by Aziz. It's Kana Oda. It's Lulu Al Hanadi. A little one two. It's Fukumaro on this near side is available. Here she is. Gets under control. Papatsanis does the defending. Step overs there from Fukumaro, but in the end, Haratsis wins out. Good positioning by Zoe Haratsis. And the pass lets her down and touch. It was good positioning to ensure that the lead did stay at just the 1-0 margin. And I didn't see the board held up for additional time, but I believe we're going to have just the one minute, which we're halfway through already. Some of the spectators are starting to head off to beat the queues at the canteen at the moment. Here's Caitlin Pickett, the goal scorer. She turns and takes on the South Melbourne defence. Still she goes, Pickett. Looks for Al Hanadi. Al Hanadi shoulder to shoulder with Varley. Al Hanadi's won the free kick. It's a good position too. So South will need to summon their concentration. So we're now into the 47th minute of this first half. Fukumaru, the gloved midfielder, wanders over to take this one. Raises the one hand and goes to swing it in. It's a dangerous area. Oda was on the end of it. And that's all we have in this first half as referee Alexander Lever blows for half time. An entertaining end to end. Exciting first half that finishes with Galaxy having a 1-0 lead. So that's Geelong Galaxy 1, South Melbourne 0 here at half time. The goal scorer number 11, Caitlin Pickett, on the end of a fine sweeping counter-attacking move by the Galaxy down their right-hand side. Low ball across by Kana Oda was finished off by Pickett to ensure they can enjoy a 1-0 lead going into the break. Thanks for joining us for this first half. We'll be back here with you at Lakeside Stadium for the second half very soon.
Welcome back to Lakeside Stadium where it's the 1-0 lead to the visitors, Geelong Galaxy, courtesy of Caitlin Pickett. My name is Steve Curtin and thank you for joining me for the second half of this match as the sun just starts to poke through the old grandstand here at Lakeside. It's very cold, so that will be more than welcome. The floodlights have been on here since mid-afternoon. And now a little bit of afternoon sunlight. Be just what the doctor ordered for some of these spectators here at least. It was a classic counter-attacking goal by the Galaxy. The ball was won by Imogen Pratt, who played it to Lulu Alhanadi. Down the line to Kana Oda, who squared in the centre for Caitlin Pickett, who was caught one-on-one -on -one with fullback Sophie Papazanis, exposed by her centre halves. In the one-on-one -on -one battle, it was Caitlin Pickett steering the ball past Shannon Flower for that goal and that 1-0 lead. No doubt, as has happened earlier in the season, in the match at Stead Park, where the Galaxy led 2-0 at halftime. South come back and hit back with four second-half goals to win 4-2. South will no doubt be again confident of bouncing back in this second half on home turf here at Lakeside Stadium. Around the grounds in NPLW this afternoon, called United at home to Heidelberg. Calder enjoying a 2-0 lead in the second half. Both goals courtesy of Sinclair. So that is the irrepressible Calder United. Just flexing their muscles again this afternoon in NPLW. Not for the first time this season. There's South Melbourne. They would have shaded the game certainly on the possession stakes in this first half. Here's Varley on the ball, but it goes through to Rieri. And the Galaxy can push numbers forward. You can see the shadows down the length of the pitch here. So this is a uh, pitch configured not on a plane with a north point on your compass. It sort of runs more northwest to southeast. As Kana Oda fired that one across the goal, Shannon Flower said thank you very much and caught that one like a chess mark in an AFL game I have to get my sunglasses out this rate it's really livened up here with this afternoon sunshine as you can see Haratsa sh shading her eyes from the sun so that sun could cause one or two problems in the second half if it continues to stay out here's Fukumaru for the Galaxy it's about running out of room. It goes back to Mary. Here's Adeline Ayton. What a revelation she's been for the Galaxy side coming into the starting 11 in the last couple of weeks. And here's a switch ball out to Lulu Alhanadi. And she will let that one run out and it will be a Galaxy corner kick. It's a good contingent of fans who've travelled up the M1 to see this match today. At the moment, they're all smiles courtesy of this 1-0 lead. As we said, Caitlin Pickett, the scorer. Her fifth goal of the season. Here's Kana Oda driving this one in. Good touch by Flower. Shaker at the back post, away by Sarah Richardson. She's got a good boot behind that one and clears it right up over the halfway line. Did Sarah Richardson. Now Mary with the throw. Looking for Aiton. Richardson forces her out over the line and she will take the throw. In fact, Papat Sanos will take the throw, just on halfway. On that back straight side, if you want to talk in athletics terms. Here's Kelsey Minton for Natalie Martinu. Fukumaru nips in to win the ball and plays it out towards Al Hanadi. But Pinson won the ball. Now Oda. Oda looks to play it in behind for Pickett. No success, though. It's away by Flower. Here's Richardson for Papazanis. Little one-two. Aiton wins it back and then loses it, and now it's in dispute now. 
Richardson continues. The ball's still in. Remember, the whole ball must leave the pitch. Here's Shaker. Now Rieri for the Galaxy. And Aiton. Here comes the overlap from Imogen Pratt. He's motoring up this right-hand side. Speaking of motoring, here's Leah Valley come charging through. Such a commanding defender. Very comfortable coming up the field as well. Now here's Sarah Richardson. Looks to play it in behind. It was Martinu for Minton with the shot. It ends up being, I'm not sure if it's an intentional, but almost a lob. And not for the first time today we've seen a South Melbourne attempt end up on the roof of the net. Kenzel plays it long. Richardson. It's Haratsis. Martinu. So Carlos. A one two. Ball barely even touches the ground. Minton. Headed by Sh Aziz. And then it was Aiton coming in to lend a hand and clear that ball. Will Galaxy go for a second goal, or are they going to dig in and hang on for a 1-0? Or attempt to? And here's Papadzanis with the throw. Aziz and Pratt. This is Al Hanadi involved in that goal earlier, as was Kana Oda on the ball now. Now Fukumaru. Fukumaru drives on across the halfway line to get the switch out towards Christy Merry. Mary keeps it in, but Papazanis read the ball well. Haley Richmond can play it to a midfield compatriot, Cindy Lay. It's a good tussle there between Pinson and Alhanadi. Now Rieri combining with Pratt. And Fukumaru. Farley got the foot in there, the all-important one. Lay to Richardson, to Minton. Kelsey Minton in goals in their last outing. Back to her rightful position this week in the front three. She's had 15 goals to her name this season. Good header there by Aziz. Here's Minton again, comes into the area, blocked by Aziz, away by Rieri. Richardson, little low ball into Sakalis, and Lay gets the shot. Bounced awkwardly in front of Kensol, but she was easily able to handle that one. As she did in the last match, going with the long pants today in goal. Certainly working for her today. She's had a great game so far. Here's Varley. Papazanis. Varley got collected late there, and she's not been knocked in the calf. Always oh, a painful place to cop a bit of a corky. And the cold weather doesn't help either. We're going to have some treatment coming onto the field. Shout out to one of our regular viewers on the NPLW streams, Catherine Shaker, watching from Tasmania. She says, go Galaxy. Impressed with their performance in that first half. Message from Saw, wondering about the Galaxy kit colour today. Well, yeah, their away strip is, is the all grey with the touch of um, sort of uh, charcoal stripes, I guess you could say. It's a bit of a new look since they have changed their colours. Their logo still has the yellow and, and blue in it, whereas uh, their home kit now has been made to reflect that of the club that they share their facility with, Stead Park, which is the Geelong Soccer Club, with the red and black home kit that the Galaxy now use. So 
in that delay also we saw Lulu Al Hanadi pick up a yellow card for that challenge on Vali. And the other yellow card in this match was awarded to Vali herself for a professional foul in that first half. So one yellow card apiece in this match now. Here's Tomoku Fukumaru. It's a quality ball, that one there, to find Oda. Good defence by Richardson. Here's Kelsey Minton. Cindy Lay. And now Sophia Sakalis. Good technique. Runs into Fukumaru, though. It's a real stout in the centre of Lakeside Stadium. Lay. Now Sakalis again. 1 2 with Lay. Lay's got no support on her left hand side, so she plays it out to the right. B. Richardson out there. Comes inboard onto her left hand side. Still she goes, Richardson. Fires it over the bar. Good attempt by Sarah Richardson. She carried that ball a long distance. Led the Galaxy defence, a merry dance, and then fired a shot that just dipped late over the crossbar. It was a very, very good effort on goal. Emily Kensole breathes a sigh of relief, and she goes to collect that ball from over near the high jump mats. We've just got a possible problem here for the right back for South Melbourne, which is Sophie Papatsanis. She's had a very good contribution so far in this match, but she's just been flawed at the moment. As the South Melbourne substitutes warm up to our right here. Just warming up along the track like they're preparing for the 200 metres at the Zatapec event or something like that. Options for Michelle Gallo on the South Melbourne bench today. Georgia Candilas, Felicity Georgiopoulos, Catherine Forte-Odo, Mariam Anvari, and Sarah Fitzpatrick. No subs used yet by either side. It was in uh, Galaxy's game last week. Samuel Young didn't use his bench until late in the game where he brought on Julia Budjongo, the striker, young striker who has usually been in the starting lineup. For a long part of this season. Finds herself on the bench again today. Here's Kana Oda. Looking to play it in behind for the goal scorer. Caitlin Pickett. But it ends up being Fukumaru getting on the end of it. Looks to play a low ball in. Away well by Varley. That was a solid piece of defending. Here's Adeline Ayton. Ball's won well there by Cindy Lay. She can play it to Richardson. Shaker got the foot in. Good work by Meg Shaker. And Oda combines with Aiton. And here's a ball for Alan Nady. The flag was up straight away there. By our assistant referee. Unlike the Women's World Cup, where we had to wait a long time to see the flag go up. That one was up straight away, so there's no time wasted. That's my personal preference, too. Obviously, technology has other ideas. Here's Zoe Haratsis. Sakalis. This is Kelsey Minton. Ball in here to Sarah Richardson, the number three. It's a one-two. Still goes Minton. She nearly got on the end of that pass. It's a good, good move. The spine of the pitch. Nearly a 1-2 and a 3-4 as Minton nearly got on the end of that one. He would have fancied her to score from that range too if she had got on the end of it. Had a full head of steam. I'm sure playing in goals in the last match has made her even more hungry to be scoring goals this week. Here's Zoe Haratsis. Pickett's touch was a little too heavy. Lay. Minton. Sakalis. And Pratt plays it to Al Hanadi. Now Fukumaru. The only outfield player with gloves on today. Here's Sakalis again. 
Those bright boots are dancing all over the park at the moment. And this is Richardson. She looks like she might shoot from distance. Richardson! Long range effort. Kensal was up to the task. Just keeping sure she's on her toes there, I guess. And still 1 0 to the Galaxy here. And it's Vali. Plays it to Lay. Great turn by Lay. Plays it into Richardson. Here's to Carlos. South Melbourne, Melbourne are finding their rhythm now. Out to this right hand side. Across, and that cross is just not really in favour of any of her teammates there. It was Martina who's popped out into that right hand side at the moment. Papat Sinus has been off the field with that niggle that she picked up at that last injury delay. So South have been dominating general play with 10 players over the last few minutes. Still no substitutions here. Here's Kelsey Minton again. Richardson, Lay. Little dink towards Minton. Pratt got a header in. And here's Lay with the volley. It's just wide. It's a good attempt. And it was a great move by South Melbourne. It would have been worthy of being finished off with a goal on the volley. It would have been one of the goal of the season contenders, perhaps. Or at least goal of the round. As was the Galaxy's goal in the first half. A good team goal. That would have been every bit as good. And maybe even more spectacular. So we've gone over the hour mark now. We're in the 61st minute here. Galaxy holding on to that 1-0 lead. South Melbourne looking more and more ominous as time goes on. This is Richardson. Blocked by Oda. And here's Fukumaru. Fukumaru can turn and play it out to the goal scorer in Pickett. Pickett to go by Papazanis. Here goes Pickett. Pickett again with the shot. It's a good save by Flower. And away by Heratsis. You can see Caitlin Pickett's eyes just lighting up there. She thought she was a good show to double her goal tally today. But in the end, Flower was out well to cut out the angle and block that shot. And we'll just see how much longer Papat Sinus will be able to continue because on that occasion it was Pickett just motoring past her. You hope Papat Sinus is okay, but yeah, she was off the field for quite a while with that injury situation before, but still no subs. Here's the corner by Fukumaru. It's away by Flower. It's a two-fisted punch. Here's Martinu looking to lock the ball in into midfield. This is Sakalis. She's got support to her right, which is Papazanis. She can get there in time, and she does just that. To play it in towards Minton. Here's Minton getting under control. Away by Pratt. And then it's bounced off Mary. And then Mary, who had a little bit more time there, but decided just to play it safe and put it out for a throw. So South Melbourne can continue to build the pressure on this Galaxy defence. Here's Martinu. Papazanis with the cross. It's away by Shaker, and it's a good clearance because it finds Al Hanadi, but there's no one ahead of her for the Galaxy. So she elects to play a square pass, but it comes unstuck. Here's Pinson. This is Cindy Lay. Pinson provides some overlap, but Lay decides to switch the play. Papazanis. Here's Martinu. She's stationed herself out right, wide on the right for the moment. Here's the cross, and the header was nearly there by Lay, and it was just a little bit too high for her, perhaps. Good bit of play by South once again there. Martino getting out free on that right-hand side, firing in the cross. And it was a good run from deep position by Lay. and Just couldn't quite get ahead onto that one. You fancy if she did, it would have been the net bulging and a 1-1 score line. But that remains 1-0 to the visitors. Richardson spirals that one across. You can see Emily Kensall always keen to control it with her body and force the South players to come and make her pick it up, given the scoreline. Oda looking to turn past Richmond. She runs out of room on that far side. It's 
comes south again. Goes over the head of Minton. But Richardson will motor out there to pick that one up. Looks to throw in the dummy. And then fires what was a shot, but maybe a cross would have been the better option on that occasion. Can't question her effort, though. We've gone from keeper to keeper. Here's Zoe Haratsis. Lay, Richardson, Minton. Minton looks to get onto her right boot. Still she goes, Minton. Minton with the shot. It was a decent opportunity. Another good save by Emily Kensall. Giving a good account of herself out there today. It's Haratsis. Fukumaru with the header. Varley uses her shoulder con to control that one. Here's Lay. Richardson. And Sakalis has got a little bit of space here. Plays it out to Lay. Lay looks to shoot. And she's scored a cracker, if you don't mind. Cindy Lay, how about that? How about that? A great game she's had so far today. And she's capped it off with a goal. And you could say, it might be an understatement, but we saw that one coming. Cindy Lay on the score sheet. 1-1 one, one here at Lakeside. Cindy Lay had been threatening that. She has scored against Galaxy in both of their previous encounters this season. And she's made it three today. So that scoreline here, South Melbourne one, Geelong Galaxy one. We're into the 67th minute now. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have an exciting finish. I can guarantee you that. Here's Paige Pinson. Fukumaru wins the ball back. al Hanadi, Oda. The Galaxy have got a lift of gear now. Rieri. Lay wins the ball back. Here's Martino on the left-hand side now. A lot of positional changes. And here's Lay with another shot. And she's scored again! Cindy Lay has smashed that one into the top right corner. And there's nothing that Kenzo could do about it. And in just a matter of two minutes, South Melbourne have gone from 1-0 down to 2-1 ahead, and Geelong Galaxy cannot believe it. Just too much time on the ball there to pick her spot. Just drill that into the top right corner. As I said, don't go anywhere. And then 10 seconds later, we've seen that. If her first goal wasn't good enough, that one was even better. Have to just take a minute to process what we've seen here in the last couple of minutes because this is uh, crazy stuff. Long range shooting. And now here it comes to the other direction. Now it's Caitlin Pickett coming into the area. She's all on her own. She's got Papazanis to beat. And it's Haratsis getting a foot in in the end. Brings it away. To this superstar of the last few minutes, Cindy Lay. Just shows you just can't give a player of that quality that kind of space to shoot. They will just punish you and that's what Cindy Lay has done to the Galaxy here the second half double coming in the 66th and 67th minute all of a sudden it is South Melbourne leading 2-1 as you'll be able to hear through our effects mic the active supporters have found voice and Geelong is wondering what happened Here's Papazanis. Still goes Papazanis, looking to play it into Sakalis. Sakalis comes into the area, gets past one, checks back onto her left. Here's Cindy Lay, she's on a hat-trick. And she's just, just missed. 
<laughs> just skidded past that left hand upright. And the irony is that was probably, no, if not definitely, the easiest opportunity of the three that she's had in the last few minutes. She just doesn't like to score boring goals, Cindy Lay. Here's Lay again. Certainly wouldn't bet against her claiming the hat-trick today on the form that we've seen. Here's Sakalis. It's bouncing around. Back to Sakalis again. Minton can run this ball down near the corner flag. She's got Mary to beat. She cuts back sharply, but Shaker cuts that one out. Here's Kana Oda. Can she go past Richmond with her pace? Or cut inside, perhaps? Richmond did well. Sometimes the simple thing's the best thing to do there. She just blocked, tackled that one out for a throw. Here's Mary. This is Adeline Ayton. Ayton with a switch. Decent one, too. Finds Fukumaru. But South win possession back. Martini goes back to Pinson. Now here's the girl of the moment, Cindy Lay. This is Carlos. To play it out there towards Minton. Minton for Richardson. Richardson with a shot. That one does not trouble the scoreboard attendant on that occasion. Lay. And that one was too strong for Richardson to keep in. All of a sudden, it's Galaxy that they need to get a wriggle on as Pratt throws that one to Rieri, trying to get it under control. Goes to ground. Here's Sakalis. Aziz bangs it long. Varley's favourite to get it. Here's Kana Oda. Fukumaru. And Rieri. It's an intelligent pass to Oda. And Oda can't quite get it in behind Varley. He was looking for Alhanadi down the line. Perhaps Alhanadi is the player to spark Galaxy. And here's the shot from Oda. And the header did come from Alhanadi. And Oda took that one bouncing. First time. The connection wasn't quite right. The timing was off and it went wide. Flower plays it short. Zoe Haratzis with time. Papazanis and Minton. This is Haley Richmond. Pick it now. South Pro. Still no substitutions yet taking place. We're in the 73rd minute now. It's been a gruelling end-to-end sort of game, so some of these players can certainly be excused for showing some times of, uh, signs of weariness. And so Carla steps over that one with a dummy, ends up getting through to Richardson. And Pratt got the all-important foot in. So it just bounces off the steeplechase hurdle out there. It'll be a South Melbourne corner. South leading 2-1. So Carlos will take her time with this corner. Sophia Sakalis plays it short to Pinson. Pinson can cross here. It's easy to clear though. It was Shaker with the clearance. Haratzis with the all-important foot in there. To Papazanis. Plays it over the top. Shaker wins the header, but it's gone to Martino. Here's Varley who's come forward. Martino and Lay wins the header and again looking for a hat trick. A player who started the game in defensive midfield. It's two thirds of the goal scored in this match today. It's 
a game that's seen a lot of long-range shooting, most of it tame. It's just hard to believe your eyes seeing two quality strikes like that so close together by the same player. When the Galaxy thought they were cruising at 1-0. He comes south down this right-hand side. Minton. Here's Richardson. Going left and right. Back onto her left-hand side. Lay. Lay on the dribble now. Oda. al Hanadi. There's Pinson, Martino, and Richardson now. She's got three players to beat and somehow weaves through most of them. So Carlos. Cuts back. Martinu. Possible appeal for a handball there, but as his clearance ended up being blocked by Martinu. Here's Imogen Pratt. She will get the ball away. Fukumara needs to get control of this ball, but Pinson did, did best, and Vali can switch the ball out to Papazanis. Minton. Looking for Lay. And here's Martinu. Going on to her left. Here's Cindy Lay. Gets the shot away again. It looks like Cindy Lay's moved into the number nine position at the moment. And why not when she's shooting as well as she is? At the moment, it's opportunity after opportunity falling to the girls in blue. They're enjoying that 2-1 lead. Courtesy of Cindy Lay. With the double. Richardson. Sakalas. Sakalas turns. A little 360. Minton. This is Richardson with the cross. Martinez at the back post. And Lay with the header. The crowd is just hanging out for a third Cindy Lay goal at the moment, you feel. Papadzanis for Minton. Minton in the deep position at the moment. Here's Sakalis. She received the ball off Richardson. Still goes Sakalis. Finds the feet of Cindy Lay. The back heel. Pratt read it best. She's able to get the call from her keeper. Kensol gathers that one. Well, the long clearances from goal are not working out for Galaxy at the moment. Certainly Haratsis and Vali are two dominating defenders. He thinks they've got the Geelong attackers covered just for the moment. Here's Aziz. This is a more patient approach on the ground. al Hanadi. Fukumaru. Here's Pickett. And the goal scorer for Galaxy. He rides two challenges. Rieri can switch. She plays a direct vertical pass. Doesn't come off, though. Bit of flair from Sikalis. Here's Pickett again. Richardson now. Nice little pass to Papazanis. Here's Minton. Nice switch there by Lay to Martinu, the 150 gamer for South today. Back to the double goal scorer, Lay. Out to Papazanis. She's been able to run off that knock that she received earlier. Shaker will try and see this one out. Here's Minton coming in dangerously, getting on the end of that one, but it was wide. It was a good attack by South. We're going to see our first substitutions now in this match. It looks like South Melbourne will be making one change. Mariam and Varney will see some action now. Should be in the number 41 jersey. Which is going to go across the right back. I believe that's Papazanis who's come off. I didn't see the board go up. Okay. 
Going to see the double change for Galaxy. It's going to be Julia Budyongo, who often leads the attack line. A young number nine. So it's going to be Adel and Aethan, a defensive midfielder coming off for a striker. And Julia Pudjongo wanders out into the front three for the Galaxy. The other player that just came on for Galaxy was Emanuela Fierro. She is slotting in at left back. And here's an early opportunity for Budyongo, perhaps. It's a little bit long for her, though. Here's Pinson. Pratt got the foot in. It's a good play by Pratt. Oda. Get in there is the call from the Galaxy fans. Flower hits it long. Fukumaru can't control it. Here's the Carlos. It's Anvari getting her first touch. Here's Pickett. Looking to play it in behind for the overlapping fullback, which is Pratt. And Varley, someone who we know is at home on an athletics track, was quickest to that one. To ensure it went out for a goal kick. I believe we're going to see one more substitution for the Galaxy side. The fourth official just been notified. This flower just goes short to Varley. There's Rieri. Good first touch. Budyongo. First involvement for her. Pratt. Fukumaru bowled over there by Sakalis. Here's Fierro. The substitute, Emanuela Fierro. Here's the fresh legs and the speed of Julia Budyongo putting pressure on Pinson and Geelong win the throw. They need to make something of this. We are in the 82nd minute now. Oda went to ground there, but there was nothing doing as far as referee Alex Lieber was concerned. Shaker and Vari. Now Minton and Vari's offering support. Shaker's done well here, though. Won the ball back. Now Imogen Pratt. They play the 1 2, and well played by the Galaxy defenders there. This is Oda. Good tussle between her and Richardson. Anvari. Still get Anvari blocking Shaker's clearance initially. Now, Fukumaru. Haratsis. Al and the Galaxy win it back. Budyongo. Here's Pratt coming forward. Budyongo now. And pass lets her down on that occasion. Always difficult coming off the bench in these sort of situations. Everything can feel like it's going 100 miles an hour, and I think that's how Julia Bujongo was feeling in that moment just there. Now, here's Pinson with the throw. Short to Richardson for the 1 2. Varley. South enjoying some possession here. Richardson still goes on. Now here's Oda for the Galaxy. Looks to play it in behind. It's going to run long. Here's Lay. Sakalis. Richardson. Pinson. Richardson with the first time pass. Looking for Martino. And 
a change for Galaxy. The goal scorer is substituted. Caitlin Pickett coming off, replacing her as Nyanko or Joseph, number 19. Chance for South Melbourne here. And it's Anvari. So close to a goal for the substitute. It's just wide of the left hand upright. So it's still 2 1 here at Lakeside. Three points will be staying here at this rate. Richardson, been a busy day for her, popping up in all areas of the park, really. Lay, and now Martino plays it for Sir Carlos. Martino gets it back, dinks it over to Amvari. Joseph looks like she will get there first, though. Good play by Joseph. She's also won the throw. The other substitute there, Emanuela Fierro with the throw. Richmond turns that one over. Bujongo tussling with Richardson. Bit of a tug of the shirt there, and Richardson wins the free kick. It'll be taken by Leah Vali. Pinson. Lay. Good challenge by Fukumaru. In comes Lay again. Richardson. Good positioning by Shaker. Richardson back to mop up again though. Sakalas. South enjoying the Lions share of possession at the moment. Galaxy trying to get a wriggle on now. It was Cindy Lay winning the header. Now here's Joseph. Mianco Joseph, the substitute, just crashing through there. Haley Richmond, who's moved into the right back position since Papazanis has been substituted. And Vari's lost that one. Fukumaru now for Joseph. Pass goes straight to Richmond, though. Richmond can bring it across halfway. Play it to Anvari. You see Carlos on the end of this move. Minton with the strike. What a goal by Kelsey Minton. And that has to be, you have to say it now, it's game over. The three points are in the bag for South. Three goals, three top quality goals. That one smashed into the top left corner by Kelsey Minton. Add to the two goals earlier from also from long range from Cindy Lay. Got a change here. And it's the 150 gamer coming off. Natalie Martinu. It was Sarah Fitzpatrick, number 37, entering the fray. And a shot there. It's a yeah, cracking goal by Oda. Oh my, have we seen some quality goals today. Kana Oda said, enough's enough. I'm going to score my own long range rocket. And she's done just that. She's picked up that ball about 30 yards out and went bang. Flower couldn't reach it. And now it's 3-2. This has been some second half. So game on again here. 3-2. In the 89th minute though. Is this one going down to the wire here at Lakeside. Galaxy not throwing in the towel yet. Here's Fukumaru. Away by Haratsis. That was an important header. Fierro went down, but play on is the decision. Here's Minton. She's just going to stall and wait for Richardson to come and offer some support. She's been a real engine today for South Melbourne. Now Shaker's got the footy in there, but it's gone through behind. And here's the substitute. And she scored with her first involvement in the match. Sarah Fitzpatrick. Adds to this tally of South Melbourne's 
Second half goals, and it is now a fourth. And as they have done against the Galaxy twice already this season, scoring four goals, they have done it three times out of three now. And previous results, 4-2, four, 4-1. Four, Today we're seeing a 4-2 likely scoreline. And as was the case when they met at Stead Park, all four goals coming after half time for South Melbourne. Here's Al Hanadi. Al Hanadi with the cross. Pratt's in the middle. Pratt! Good opportunities. Got her head to that one, but it was a good save by Flower. The fullback surging forward. She does have four goals to her name this season, Imogen Pratt. For Kamaru. This is Nakaya Joseph. Sorry, Niancourt Joseph. Al Hanadi with the cross. Goes behind. Maybe it was actually a shot. Certainly had some zip on it. Galaxy will enjoy a weekend off next week with the catch-up round and the uh, Nike FC Cup final taking place as well. If you're free, make sure you get out to that one at C.V. Smith Reserve, 5 o'clock next Sunday, next weekend. Here's Al Hanadi. Niancor Joseph tries her luck. Just runs out. As I was saying... Witness some top quality women's football next Sunday at CB Smith Reserve, August the 11th at 5 p.m. It'll be Box Hill and Cold United contesting the Nike FC Cup final. While on Saturday the 10th it will be Melbourne Knights and Hume City contesting the Doherty Cup final from 5 p.m. at Kingston Heath Reserve. Here's Kelsey Minton. She has one long range goal to her name. Not the only long range goal today. And Vari. And that's all. It's full time at Lakeside. 4 2 winners, South Melbourne today, taking the three points. They will most likely jump above Holderberg on the table before they play Holderberg next week in that catch up game. And after it was washed out earlier in the season. But today, South Melbourne, four second half goals. One of them was. I believe the first touch by Sarah Fitzpatrick coming on. The other two, long-range bombs from Cindy Lay, who scored two from distance. And one from way out there as well by Kelsey Minton. So in that second half, it was not all one-way traffic with Kana Oda scoring her best goal of the season, possibly her career from miles out at the lake end of the stadium too to uh, tighten things up, and that made it 3-2. But then it was, of course, Sarah Fitzpatrick, the substitute, to come and seal the result for the home side. An entertaining match. Everyone's got their full value out of their afternoon for coming to see this one. And at full time, it is South Melbourne for Geelong Galaxy 2. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon for this Round 24 NPLW Clash as the players head off the field for well-earned round of applause. They have entertained us thoroughly this afternoon. My name is Stephen Curtin. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to covering some more games for you soon in the final few rounds of this NPLW season from Lakeside Stadium. And me, Steve Curtin, it is good night.